everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts Designs. It's getting there. I'm getting, I'm getting better. <laughs> I mean, I'll be able to tell, but I am. So today, I am going, this is basically, um, just a, I guess you might call it a color mix video. I'm going to mix up some resin for this mold, but the part that I'm experimenting with, I've got some of these Mayspring um, mica powders. I believe these may be sold by Let's Resin. Don't quote me on that. Um, so, here's my thought process. I've done quite a bit of what's called cold casting which you take a actual pulverized metal and combine it with resin so let's say you were going to do two a part a and a part b of this resin you would also add that much of the pulverized metal. You would mix the resin together, then mix your pulverized metal with it. That being said, the pulverized metal, you can also add a resin dye to the resin, which will change the coloration of your cold casting I've got I've got a few videos but we'll work on that more later so I'm gonna do the charcoal black mica powder okay a very little bit of the mica powder because mica powder is an opaque um, just by its nature, it's an opaque um, when we use it this way. But I'm going to add some of this, probably just this purple in. Oh, purple agate is this resin pigment. Sorry. It's the Y R Y M R Y R Y M. Oh goodness! Black mica powder, purple resin pigment. The purple resin pigment is a translucent, so very little bit of mica powder, little bit of resin pigment and then I'm going to add a few of these that are the stars and moons and then probably just a uh, a spoonful of each of these the black the purple the blue and then this is just the silver Boy, that sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But we're going to do it and see what happens. Okay, now, forgive me, I don't have my gloves on for the moment. But you know how hard a time I have with things. Bottles and jars. I'm just going to start out with a squirt. Not sure what type of measurement that actually is, but now this black going to start out with a 
a spoonful. Once again, don't know what type of measurement that is, but we're going for it. Now my cup is extremely full, y'all. Maybe a spoonful and a half. <laughs> okay, this is the silver. This is the royal blue. This is the purple. <laughs> and this is the black. Now the black, I'm going to add two. Now that I've done all that, I'm going to put my gloves back on. Okay, now I can at least start without <laughs> covering myself. Now this might need a little more purple dye. We're going to check it out first. That's another squirt. <laughs> Let's call them 10 drops each. So, oh, this one may have been more than that. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Clean it up right away. All you'll do is get it everywhere else. And please, 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 always wear your PPE. Your mask, your natural gloves. I am not so far sensitive to it. That doesn't mean it couldn't happen any time. Right. I'm going to pour the lid first. Now, after I mix the resin, I did let it set. I did let it set for 30 minutes.
Okay, that was... That was 120 milliliters or whatever. About. <laughs> Probably before I added the glitters and stuff, so. Now, the box filled pretty much perfectly. The lid, however, it's got some issues. Move that out of the way first. Okay. I'm just going to set these uh, in my curing room overnight and I'll demold them in the morning. <laughs> okay, here it is the next morning. Let's do the lid first. see that the chunky glitter um, did sink even though I did wait 30 minutes before I mixed it in and sorry it's just that it's really early my voice is just not back to normal
This is all in the mold. Not quite as shiny as I expected. <clears throat> and this is another one of those uh, that will need a knob or something on top. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll leave a link to the molds down below. <clears throat>